guys, it's Yvonne here, and today we're gonna make rose water. And the ingredients we're gonna need are thieves fruit and veggie cleaner, 12 roses, a gallon of distilled water, thieves essential oil, rosemary, grapefruit, and purification. The night before, I added a drop of thieves, two drops of purification, to a vase of water, and a dozen roses. 24 hours later, I started unpeeling each rose petal one at a time before cleaning it. Purification is great for keeping the roses looking fantastic, fabulous, younger, longer, and Thieves is a great immune booster. In a glass bowl, add distilled water, just a little bit at a time. A cap full of Thieves fruit and veggie soak. This is great because it will kill off all the junk that's on the rose petals. We don't want to put that on our face until it's completely cleaned. Looks like we need to add a little bit more water. Following, add all the rose petals a little at a time. Make sure you really mix the rose petals in with the fruit and veggie soak. Let them sit for about five minutes and then rinse them off with distilled water. Here, here, here are some rose petals. I uh, went ahead and put them in a nice pot right here. And what I'm gonna do is add some distilled water. Make sure it's distilled, it's very important that it's distilled. Just enough water in there to cover the rose petals. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it on low. Also make sure to cover it. Notice how most of the red is pretty much off of the rose petals. That's exactly what you would want. So I'm just gonna cover it and let it cool off. Before I add the rose water in here, I'm gonna add my essential oils. Grapefruit, I'm gonna add about 20 drops. Rosemary, I'm gonna add about 10 drops. And then we're gonna add we're gonna add three tablespoons of witch hazel in there. We okay, guys. So I um, went ahead and I put a coffee filter over this big glass jar, and then I'm gonna pour the rose water in there. This does take time, so be patient. It's all worth it. With this recipe, I was able to make a face moisturizer out of it, a face toner and a face spritz sprayer or just a spray really for relaxation and overall health and wellness. I absolutely love this recipe. Thanks to my cousin Crystal, it does last for a while. So you definitely wanna keep this in a cold temperature area to keep it lasting longer thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like to see more videos like this click the bell button to get notifications on upcoming new videos have a great day bye